Hi everyone, it's Jeanette, Crafty Dork, um, with a video, I think it's 44, of the 100 Day Project. I've been missing in action <clears throat> for a little few days. Um, I've not been 100%, um, but we won't go there. Um, and we've actually got our little puppy. So time is um, is a bit precious at the minute, plus... Centrelink in their wisdom have, you know, with all this new um, job keeper seeker stuff, um, uh, things are changing drastically. And um, my uh, people who I contact for work and stuff like that sort of um, have suggested um, I uh, get into the volunteer. Uh, side of things which I've been thinking about doing for a while uh, just to get me out because I um, as you know I have an anxiety problem and it's very hard for me to get out um, so I might not be doing as many uh, videos I'll still do the 100 day project but it might take me 200 days to do it um, what I'm doing today is just part of a project that I want to do. Now the project is Joey Defee. Defee. Um, she's done it on her um, channel and I will link that and show you. Um, basically it's a folder like this. It's a book page, some cardstock and then handmade envelopes. And then on those handmade envelopes, you do pockets and tucks and flips and and what have you. So that's the project that I'm heading to. Today, I'm going to show you how um, I do the envelopes. It's very similar to the one, and I will link um, Jodie's um, tutorial for her envelope um, tutorial as well. So I've just done a few just to um, show you. This one is a, it's a, it was a big um, book page that I actually gessoed that with my um, clear gesso that I use and um, just toned it down and it's come out really nice. So I've done that. Um, and this is another one that I did... Um, from a beautiful book that I've got and I I honestly didn't know what the devil I was going to do with this book because the pages are absolutely stunning and it's another one of those that you think um, do I just leave it on the coffee table because look at this all leaks and it's it's called um, botanical footwear of the, the botanical footwear of Dennis Kite um, and all the pictures are of different vegetables like ivy the, the letters um, there's more footwear um, letters with um, different words look at that they are stunning um, and what I used those the orange ones was this sort of page with whatever was on the back um, and these are flowers and then there's more and then there's those which these would look great as a you know fold in half in a book a journal and then there's little bubby ones and um, that yellow one similar to the one I did. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Um, so that's what I did some of the, the, the folder I did with that. So I'll do a couple more today. I've got this book here um, that I've got some pages and having this new puppy, she is just a little treasure. Um, she's called a little Lily. L-I-L-L-I-E and she is just I wonder if there's one of her there she's a Jack, little Jack Russell a little pocket rocket when we got to pick her up 
um, she wasn't a pocket rocket because Rama decided that he wasn't really sure of the, the dad of the house um, who came to the front door and spoke through the door and we couldn't see him. So Rama started barking. And that, I think, put Lily, well, she was Millie then, but we've changed it to Lily. Um, that put her at a disadvantage. Ah, oh, there's Leo. Um, yeah, put her at a bit of a disadvantage because um, she wasn't sure who the heck was at the front door. So I'll just make a couple of those because I am going to do a little journal and um, or more of a mini album, I think. And then I've got this little one, the illustrated book of garden flowers. And I thought I might pull a couple of those out. And uh, so I'll just do a few just to show you how I do them. Now, Joey scored and um, they were all beautifully, beautiful and perfect. But you know me, if I can find them a quicker way to do something, I will. And basically, I leave the page as close to its size that comes out of the book um, as I can. And I'm just going to clean that track a little bit because it's um, got all the fluff from the papers I've been cutting. Um, so keep it about the same as... And then all I do is decide how I want this. Now, the top, if I fold it like that, the top's going to be upside down. So basically, I want the top to come down like that so I can see the puppies. Okay. And then this is going to be the right way up. Okay. So... I basically, and isn't that beautiful for the inside, I basically guesstimate a half an inch, quarter to half an inch, and just run it down the side like that, crease it, down each side, easy peasy, as G would say. Then, it's this way, then I'm going to bring that up, not creasing yet because I want to make sure that I just have a little fold over okay so I'll bring it up just a little bit more now we're right just so that I can have perhaps oh no, half an inch or or so fold over And then I look and just do that little half inch fold over. Now this can all be scored on your score scoreboard um, if you wanted to do it that way. Um, I get the scoreboard out on the wrong side. Just do half an inch each side. Okay. About half an inch there, and then work out what it is that you want to go up. Not your half an inch, and I just give it a little, little crease like that. Open it up, and then put that crease line and score. So if you want to do it. Um, like that by all means um, it probably um, I don't know whether it makes a difference or not I don't I, I really don't know then what I do is cut up just the inside of the score line so not on the score line but just to this inside of it up to the line and then just a little B and then on the top one, I do a little V up to the corner there, where all those lines meet, and up like that. Okay, so down there to the, to the line, and a little V. 
then a little V, and then along like that. You can also, if you don't want to use the scissors, you can do it on your trimmer. Let's see. So then you would open it up. Okay. Line up your score line. And then just run your line and see this isn't going no sorry it's not for some reason i think i need a new cutter it will let me just see if it will do it from there just take that out sometimes if you take it out take your because it cut beautifully before Sometimes it just gets the um, paper stuck in the blade. Okay, so we'll see. And I can't remember whether I did crease that. I may not have. That would make a difference for your cutter. You need to make sure you have your crisp lines. So let's just give it another try. There on the score lines and basically up that's better so up to the score line lift up down again come down to your score line and that's one gonna muck around and be a pain in the neck so I'll do it there. so if you if it had cut properly you just cut your little V out afterwards and you've got your, your cut so I'll just do this on because it's been a pain for me it's the story of my life the last week it's everything's going up the pup okay right so that's a bit rough there where that's all torn but I'll still use this and make it work so they come up and they, I'll just neaten it a little bit, but I mean it doesn't really. So what I do, either use your glue stick and just don't go into that. Just make sure you leave the V and then up because other, you, otherwise you'll stick the whole flap down and you don't want that. And just glue that and there you are you've got your pocket so we've got all the pussy cats upside down but that's fine and there's your pocket now for this project that I'm doing I'll leave the corners straight but you can round the corners you can put a little notch in there um, but that's as simple as the envelope gets okay so there it is again fold it all fold it all up crease crease do your creases and burnish them nicely so they're nice and crisp fold over both ways top and bottom and there you've got a, a great easy easy peasy little pocket so then again make sure you, you don't do your little v part just straight down um, and across so I hope this isn't too quick for people I know I am a, a reasonably quick um, crafter but I hope I've explained it a little bit um, yeah so I'm going to do this volunteer work which will it'll be good um, like I said get me out but I'll have to forego my um my lessons that um, I do for um, the girls so oh well, something's got to go so isn't that a cute little envelope 
she's got a little tooth and I bet I never find it when it goes when she loses it there's one there to go so I'll uh, our little lily and I'll put it in a little envelope now I need to find the center part here where I've taken some some of these um out and I don't think I can actually use this book I know I've, I've bought two I always buy two of everything my husband goes crackers he thinks I'm thinks I'm crazy it could be right um so I'll just yeah my other book I've um cut all the flowers out but, uh, I'll cut the flowers out of one and use one as a envelope making one or the pages come on come on this is really tough string okay. I think I'll use this one and show you that when you use, I've got some beautiful books coming from England, but <laughs> who knows when we're going to get those, hey? So with this one, I would just fold it up and, you know, you don't have to do the sides if you don't want to. I would fold it up and then over like that to make sure I've got the, so I've got the pretty flowers coming down. And then I'll fold that. But, it, you know, you don't have to do this folding down the side if you don't want to. But what it does do is give you that little bit of extra room in your pockets. Um, it just, that just sort of, as you can see there, that little bit flaps up. And it will just give you that little bit of extra room. So then, same deal again. Down your score line, just staying inside it. And then snip, and then snip, and then just inside your score lines. So it's a very effective um, little pocket. I've been doing these for years. I used to do them when I did my um, uh, mini albums. So I apologise if I don't um, mention anybody else. If I did find them, it's that, that long since I've been doing them. But it's just that I saw um, Joey um defeat doing this project that i thought i might um uh, borrow and um show everybody so we've got the little flowers there with, once again and you don't have to use stick glue you could use your um any any glue um to stick these down and i've just cut that bit um, you can use anything. I actually found, um, and I think it was only two dollars. This little, it's Helmer's Crafter's Choice Premium Craft Glue, and I thought, found it at the cheap shop, and I thought, I wonder. And do you know, it's a bit like the Helmer's 450 and the fabric glue. This one. I can't tell the difference and this I pay $13 for $2 both Helmers go figure so that I also use on these I, um, yeah so I I was gobsmacked when I found them and um, I used to use it up at my our, um, craft shop now I'm just going to give a little snip. Hopefully I don't take the let. Yep, I didn't. Okay. Like that. And that one's just off a smidge. Mm. Okay. So then I can just do the little... Like that. 
and that is a beautiful little envelope too so easy little envelopes tomorrow i'm hoping i'll be back tomorrow i am not i'm a bit like um tracy i'm not going to say um i'll be back with tomorrow's project just in case because it's it's a bit like that so there's two we did um, and i did these little ones with the book page i did these then i did these little ones for long skinny ones so just depending on the size of your book page and then this is the project that i will um i'm hoping uh, tomorrow i've got to do lots of mucking around so it'll probably be wednesday or thursday that i actually uh, show you how all this goes together but it's i love the i love the concept of it i think it's brilliant so until we meet again um i'm sorry it was just a little it's a quick one today um and you probably all know exactly how to do this but bear with me and we will get back to uh, real intricate stuff at some stage but until next time we craft bye for now happy crafting <laughs>